Hello friends, Alan here with another Studio One tip. And today let's talk about filters. Before I switched to Studio One, I used Reason. And in Reason, the mixer console is the emulation of an SSL desk with a lot of bells and whistles built in. One of them is the filter section where you have your low pass and high pass filters right there on the channel with no need to add any plugins. So when I switched to Studio One with its pristinely clean mixer channel, I missed this ability to instantly low pass or high pass the output. But okay, I thought, I'll just have to add a filter plugin. Except there is no simple native filter plugin in Studio One. So I decided to reach out to Studio One community on Facebook, or was it Reddit, I don't remember, and ask what they use. And to my surprise, the whole premise sounded kind of weird to most people. In retrospect, I understand that when you don't come from where I came from, and most DOS have mixers more like one found in Studio One than the one in Reason, I guess you are just used to slapping an equalizer on the channel and you are done with it. And technically that's fine. Yet it doesn't sit well with me conceptually. For one thing, using the big EQ plugin just to cut some lows seems wasteful. And even though Pro EQ in Studio One seems to be really CPU efficient, it's still a mental overload. A. You don't know what the thing is doing when you see it in your inserts list. Is it used to sculpt the sound or just to set filter? And B. I prefer to have separate things controlling the character of the sound and for high pass or low pass automation. So in this scenario, I would end up with two Pro EQ instances. And again, no clear picture which one of them is doing what. Sure, you can rename them in the list, but who really does that? Then some people recommended a few free third-party options, and that's what I use for the most part. We will talk about it later. But first, let's exhaust all of our native options. When I was looking for ways to do a bandpass sweep efficiently, I realized that Studio One has another effect that can be used uh, as a simple filter, even though it defaults to something a little more complex. Enter auto filter. And by the way, you can find a link to that bandpass uh, sweep video in the description below. While auto filter defaults to being modulated by an LFO, you can actually disable that. And that way you get a simple filter with several filter types. Though all the LFO stuff remains visible and can be hidden. That's not the main issue with auto filter. A bigger and quite puzzling shortcoming of auto filter is that its cutoff frequency only goes up to 16 kHz. So if, for example, you want to automate a low pass filter opening up completely, you'll have to automate both filter cutoff frequency and then a complete filter bypass or a dry wet mix parameter. Not ideal at all, but for a static filter, auto filter could still be a great option. There are some other EQ and channel strip options in Studio One, but they are aimed more at sculpting the sound than doing simple arbitrary high or low cuts. So let's keep them and talk about some free third party options. The first one recommended to me was BX Clean Sweep version 2 by Brainworks. The links to all the plugins I mentioned here will be in the description below. Clean Sweep is simple, sounds good and is free, what's not to like? You can control LPE and HPE cutoffs, and it also has a joystick to control both at the same time. You don't control the slopes or even have preset slope options, but that's kind of its beauty. If you like how it sounds, there is nothing to fuss about. If you don't, you move on to something else. If you want something with a little more customization options and controls, check out Filter by Kilohertz. You get seven filter types and controls for slope and resonance. Again, simple and a little more feature rich if you need that. They also have a non-linear option if you are after some vintage character. Another fan favorite 
that used to be free but apparently isn't anymore is Rift Filter Lite. It's a little more than just a simple classic filter, but it can act as one and the UI isn't overloaded with additional controls. I don't know if it goes back to free on special occasions or not, but it's a cool, inexpensive plugin for its great sounding morphing functions either way. So you may consider buying it and getting both your basic and creative needs covered. So that's it for this video. Do you use any of the above mentioned plugins for your filters? Do you use something else? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, please like it, share it, and consider subscribing to my channel to get more Studio One tips in the future. And with that, thank you and see you next time.